look, me and Pastor Gina, God has used us in dreams and visions. And I'm saying that just to give an example. But we are all a prophetic people. Are you with me? In the Old Testament, God spoke to, through the prophets, through dreams and visions. The Bible says this in Numbers. God says, I speak to the prophets through dreams and visions. But to Moses, I speak face to face. So dreams and visions was the avenue that the prophets would receive revelation. That was one of the main avenues, dreams and visions. In the New Testament, God speaks to us still through dreams and visions. But you don't have to be a prophet. Because the moment Jesus was raised from the dead and released the Holy Spirit, he gave birth to a prophetic bride. We are a prophetic people. Are you with me? We are a prophetic body of Christ. Why? Because the moment the Holy Spirit came in you, you became prophetic. Your spiritual ears were open, and now you become a spiritual weatherman, able to discern the wind. Hello? Some people didn't get that. They're like, uh. We have the Holy Spirit in us, and he gives us the ability to have voice recognition, recognize the voice of God. And let me just add this. A lot of people don't understand. They say, when God, God doesn't speak to me. No, no, no. God speaks to every believer. If you're not born again, then that's different. But he speaks to every believer. Every believer. You just have to learn to discern his voice. A lot of times when, when someone might say, someone that's teaching might say, God spoke to me. We think it's an audible voice. I remember when I started in, in the things of God. I would hear preachers on television, and God spoke to me, and God spoke to me. And I used to say, God never speak to me. I said, how come God speaks to these guys all the time? I, I don't hear God because I didn't know that God was speaking to me, but I didn't know how to discern his voice. Because I was thinking in my mind the audible voice. And it's not audible voice. It's not Moses. Though God spoke to Moses in an audible voice at that time. It's not the audible voice we're looking for. It's the communication of God that we're looking for. And whatever method he chooses to speak to us. Because God chooses the way he's going to speak to you. You don't choose the way. He chooses the way. All you do is, all we know is to seek him. And once we seek him, we alert and looking around for God to use anything to speak to us. And he will. Amen? Amen. So don't get caught up with the audible voice. Because in the Bible, it's rare that God speaks audibly. Are you with me? Jesus, in the ministry of Jesus, God the Father only spoke to Jesus audibly three times. How many times? Three. The first one, when he was being baptized. They said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. That was one. The second one was when he was transfigured in the mountain. Remember, he took Peter, James, and John. Who did he take with him? And when he transfigured before them, the Bible says his clothes became like lightning. And they heard the audible voice that said, this is my beloved son. Hear him. That was the second time. The third time was in the book of John where Jesus was praying and telling them what was going to happen. And he said, Father, glorify your son. And the audible voice came and said, I have both glorified it. God the Father spoke. So only three times in the New Testament did God the Father, that's written, that God the Father speak to Jesus audibly. Are you with me? A lot of times you read through Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, you read Jesus saying he perceived. It wasn't an audible voice. He perceived. John chapter 4, he says, he needed to go through Samaria. You guys remember that story? Who was at Samaria? The woman at the well? The woman at the well. But the Bible says that Jesus needed to go through Samaria. Like he had to go. Who led him there? The Holy Ghost. It wasn't from an audible voice. He was being led by his spirit man. Are you with me? So that's how you and I are led in life. 